Here, we have a particle moving along a spiral. We need to determine the radial and transverse components of the particle's velocity and acceleration. We also need to sketch the curve and show the components. Let's write down what we know. We know the position equation, the angular velocity, and the theta value at which we're going to find the answers. We will start by taking the first and second time derivatives of our position equation. The angular velocity we are given is a constant, so the time derivative of that will be zero. Now, let's calculate the values when theta is equal to pi over two. So let's find the components for velocity. First, the radial component. Now, the transverse component. Now, we can figure out the components of acceleration. First, the radial component. Now, the transverse component. And those are our answers. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped.